You know, the thing I love about that girl's first ski jump is that it's just such a metaphor for YouTube as a whole. You're just super scared about going down that hill and then you go over that first jump and you're super excited and almost want to do it again. So it's, it's like YouTube or porn. Yep, I just took a girl's first ski jump and made a joke about porn. I'm classy like that. Short films both animated and live action are becoming more and more popular on YouTube. Just a few weeks ago, Breaking the Taboo, a one hour long documentary on the drug war, was uploaded to YouTube. There's also Becoming YouTube, which is this really crazy mix of YouTube, TV, movies, all kind of rolled into one, which you, you haven't seen it. Really, you should track that down. And it just seems that the whole gamut of filmmaking has been put up onto YouTube. We have live action, short films, uh, documentaries, everything is there for the aspiring filmmaker to, to run with. Uh, and especially for those filmmakers who want to connect with their audience. Look at Freddie Wong who has kind of built his entire career on connecting with the audience and also his artistic merit. To give some more detailed breakdown, I am pleased to introduce to you Mitten Sony, a YouTuber introduced to me by the Vlog Brothers over a year ago. Since that time, he has proven himself to be quite the accomplished vlogger, musician, and filmmaker. So I asked him over Twitter recently to talk a little bit about films on YouTube, and this is what he had to say. Hey world, what's up? I'm Mitten Sony, and we're going to talk about the best short films of 2012. Woo! Also, Happy New Year. Now, of course, this is not like a comprehensive list of the best short films of 2012, it's just the ones that I've seen that I really, really like and I think you guys would like too. Also, these are in no particular order, but let's get started with number one, shall we? So first up is the short 16-minute film Shotgun. After accidental death of his girlfriend, an innocent teenager must talk his way out of being executed by his dead girlfriend's obsessive stalker. Some pretty intense stuff. It was filmed in Roseville, California for 320 bucks, which is awesome. It was written, directed, shot, edited, and scored by Jake Kilgore, who is a really young filmmaker who's doing some awesome stuff that you need to check out. Check out Shotgun. You won't be disappointed. Number two was the short documentary Kane's Arcade. You may have heard it, it did go viral for a little bit. Uh, it's about a nine-year-old boy who built a cardboard arcade in his dad's auto parts store, and no one really ever came in to see it until this one day, a filmmaker came in and he saw this kid in his arcade and he really liked it and he wanted to make a movie about it. So he made this documentary about this kid Kane in the arcade he made and sort of inspired this big movement for charity. It's only 10 minutes long and it's kind of beautiful and awe-inspiring. It's just a really fun, great film and it makes you feel like a kid again. Check it out, it's only 10 minutes, Kane's Arcade. Seriously, if you want like a really good, feel-good movie, check that out. Number three is another short doc. I really like short docs. It's called The Hunted and the Hated. It's a 13-minute movie about the NYPD and their stop-and-frisk program and corruption within the police department. It's a serious film. It's a really eye-opening film, and it brings to light really important issues that I think need to be discussed, and it's a really good example about how film can be used for social change. Regardless of the issues and the points it brings up and whether or not you agree with them, it's a really solidly made doc. People don't really watch many short documentaries, but this is a great example of how one can work. It's really well-paced, really well-made, and really interesting. And long story short, the police watch this movie. Number four is the eight-minute stop-motion short, The Eagleman's Stag, which is about a scientist looking back on his life and the discovery he made that sort of defined it. I actually saw this film last year when it was going around the festival circuits, but it just got posted online this year, and it is amazing! The animation is, is absolutely breathtaking. Every frame is the most beautiful, awe-inspiring image you've ever seen. It doesn't even feel like it's eight minutes. It, it goes by in a second. It's so engrossing and so beautiful. It's, if there's one film that I can convince you to watch, Watch, watch the eagle and stag, because you will just be blown away. There's just a certain genius that went into the making of this film that I, I can't even believe it exists, and I'm so happy that it does exist, and I, I really do think you need to check it out. Please, watch, watch the eagle and stag. And with number five, I'll be very remiss if I didn't include my short film, Everything Sucks. It's an eight-minute comedy about a guy who gets dumped by his girlfriend and his slow descent into madness, and, and I think it's pretty good, and if you want to watch it, check it out. I, I really like it. If I do say so myself, it, it might be the best short film of, of the decade. Uh, that, that's, that's a lie, but I think it's pretty good. Check it out if you want. You know, overall, 2012 was a great year for film and a great year for shorts. What I think is really wonderful is the amount of films being made and put out there into the world. You know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, making a short was something really unfathomable. It cost thousands and thousands of dollars, but now, the way technology is, anyone can just grab a camera and grab their computer and go out there and make a movie, and, and a lot of people are, and it's, it's really wonderful. I think, honestly, it's one of the most amazing things to happen in our time. There's all this art being put out there into the world that's that's easily accessible to everyone through the internet and honestly I think it's I think it's just beautiful so anyways those are my five favorite shorts of 2012 I had a great time watching them and I'm sure you will too I'm it and Sony and uh, have a happy new year thanks Mitten and now what oh. I've just been handed this um, this special report it's 
at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time today, it is encouraged that we all subscribe to Snack Pack. I'm not even sure what that even means. Oh. How's the audio? Let's take a look at a short animated film and a couple of great songs.